Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is December the 16th, 2020. And today we are going to update you all on our VeChain price update. We are going to go into what the trap has done since our last video. And then we're going to try to see where he is headed next so we all can get in position. So if this is your first time watching our video, you guys appreciate it. Make sure before you go, you subscribe to our channel, join our community and as well share the video and like the video we want to make sure that everyone else gets the opportunity to see that you are able to throw in some predictions and some expectations of price movement without being confused so make sure you do all that you can join us on our other social media platforms as well facebook instagram as well as on twitter even on our own website so right here being forth with with each and every one of you you guys can see our expectation from our last video on the v chain was to see some weakness, was to expect the market to go lower, and it did not occur. Right here. We expected the market in VeChain to go lower um, on December the 1st was the video that I am referencing in terms of our forecast. You guys can see it right here on this particular day. And the market in VeChain instead went higher. Okay. So now the question is, why did it go higher? It's simple. The trap decided to take the value of VeChain higher. That's all. Our forecast that we generated on the first, we expected him to take it a little bit lower. But even though the market in VeChain did go higher in price, it wasn't substantial. The market simply consolidated at a higher range of where we created our forecast. Right there between 0.014, I would say 0.01 and a half cents. All the way back up to 0 0.017 that's it 0 0.018 nothing else has really occurred into the market in v chain since then so we've been into the market for 15 days and the market hasn't done anything in v chain we just simply traded sideways it's been inching its way higher it's been wanting to go higher but it's not dramatic to the point to where you would say yeah we're in the upward trend in play for v chain so this wasn't right. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. Uh, we were to get out right now in this forecast would be about 11.81% loss right there in the forecast. Okay. So let's take that away. We need to get in position on our next forecast into the market for V chain. And one thing I wanted to show you is that rather than following the overall trend into the market in V chain, this is the trend that the market currently is in this slope in v chain is a lot steeper than the overall long-term trend into the market in v chain so we are still trading well away from the overall trend into the market in v chain i always want to make sure that you always remember that because this market can still drop let's see from where we're at the market can still drop another 35 percent and we'll still see this market in a uptrend this is the pristine area of which you will want to buy v chain right here on the ascending line so we're 35 percent away from it just to give you all that understanding and that viewpoint so let's look at this market in v chain on a three-day time frame real quick and as you see the market is not doing a lot our last three-day price bar we was able to hold consolidation on trade and that's about it that's the only thing that the trap has shown us is that he's not ready to actually drop the price of VeChain. Not yet. Now on the five day time frame, you can see the same thing. This market enjoys one and a half cents as support. So going forward, you know, I know that one and a half cents is going to be an integral part to allow this market in VeChain to continue to see those higher prices. Restriction is being seen at 0 0.017. That can stop the market from going higher in price. Plain and simple. And let me show you this. This market in VeChain is doing a triangle. So we will see this is a massive area of forecast ground that we need to see on which way the market is going to trade if we hover around this area here towards this descending line 
and we still see weakness, we understand that the market is going to continue to go lower. So our focus needs to be on water curves in time at this descending line, not necessarily this ascending line, not yet. So we need to watch the trap right here in the market on this ascending line to see whether or not he is giving us strength or is he giving us weakness. Okay. So looking at the chain on the weekly time frame, again, it's it's a watch. There's nothing here dictating that the market is truly that strong. There's nothing here dictating that the market is truly that weak right now. Just don't see it yet. And on the monthly time frame, you guys can see it once again. So here we are. I'm looking at the market on the hourly time frame to see if we get a different picture as to the overall market strength and weakness that we're seeing in VeChain. And even here, the market is just simply complacent. There's nothing here tradable at this particular moment in VeChain. Nothing. So this would be one of those situations to where we will simply sideline the market and won't put in a forecast because there's nothing here to substantiate a price direction. The market is complacent. The market is feeling calm. There's nothing here to drastically alter the current positional movement of the chain. All right. So what I would do is that we're going to have to sideline the market. And those are opportunities to where you just don't need to participate. And right now, the market in VeChain doesn't look too exciting to put in a forecast. Okay. So what I'm seeing though, on this daily time frame, I am seeing weakness, but I'm not seeing it to a point to where it's going to be a dramatic movement to the downside. Okay. The trap has already shown us that he enjoys the market trading around one and a half cents all the way through to 0 0.017, maybe even around 0 0.018. So for us, we are not going to put in a forecast on this particular package in VeChain. We simply need to sit the sideline and allow the trap to continue to work until we see a better footprint of what he anticipate doing. Now, you might see something totally different. And if you do, leave us a comment in the comment section. It's just that easy and it's just that simple. Where do you see the market in VeChain being in the next 16 days? Because either way it go, even though we don't see nothing on this chart for VeChain, you might. And tell me where will your TP price be at? TP simply means take profit. Where would you take profit in this market for VeChain? We don't see anything here. So we just wanted to come and give all a price update. Not a lot has changed. I want you to remember to focus in on one and a half cents price trades above that. This market is still holding its well its, its strength and the ability to continue to move higher. Period. If we break one and a half cents to the downside, we are weak. So I just wanted to come in, show you all that into the market and V chain. Questions, comments, let us know. Make sure you maintain a profitability. Go trade different.